Hello, video today following Southpaw's post on Martial Arts Planet and drawing his hand away from his head when he's throwing the lead hook. Here's a couple of ways that I do it. I think some of the problem is it's not unlike a golfer hitting a golf ball. As soon as you put the golf ball down, you try and swing too hard to gain the power and it all goes wrong. Take the ball away and do a practice swing and it seems fine. I think that the hook is similar in that you're trying to generate too much power. So cut yourself some slack for this. Do this really light, take the power out and keep a check on the technique. Okay, the drill that I'm going to give you here generates the power from the body, not in the wide swinging of the punch. Imagine you've got a knife on your knee, a little knife sticking out here, and you're going to stab it in someone. This is not going to be a big, long, drawn out uh, affair. This is going to be a short, sharp stabbing motion. So with your knee turning into the opponent, sticking in that knife. Same here, you've got a knife on the hip, it's going to turn and stab that into someone. Same on the shoulder, little knife, turn, stab that in. So this whole side of the body now, when it turns, it's a little sharp stabbing motion. So the hands are high, elbows are tucked in, jab, cross, keep the hand tight to the body. Now as you turn, don't take the hand away from the head, turn in, toe knee, hip and shoulder, hand high, and it's this stabbing motion that generates the power. The whole side of the body is slamming into this person. You've got a house where you open the front door and you open the back door and the wind blows and that back door slams tight. That's exactly what this is. It's rotating around that hinge, very short movement, and it slams shut. And that slamming is from this side of the body, turning in and sticking that knife into the opponent. The other way to imagine it maybe is you've got a little fist here, Someone's holding a pad here, and it's turning in and hitting the pad. Knee, the hip, and the shoulder. So the hand stays tight to the head. His jab comes, I slip, still nice and high. I'm in the front foot, I come up, turn the toe knee, hip into the shoulder, in towards the opponent, and slam this hook. And this absolutely is a knockout shot if you generate the power from the body and not with the hand. The other option is the layback hook, and we'll look at that separately. Okay, the layback hook is a nice favourite of mine. This is not unlike a slap, and a slap is really good to practice on the pads. Opens up the hand and takes all the power and the tension out of the shoulder, which you can often get with a nice short hook. It's even worth practicing this as a slap and empty hand. From here, I'm going to turn sideways on. So, jab, cross. The opponent slip, slip, and the opponent's gonna drive straight back at me. So I jab, cross, and I'm gonna lay back on my rear leg. You'll notice my front hand hasn't moved. Jab, cross, my front hand stays where it is. One, two, so now it's the same principle. As I lean back, toe, knee, hip, and shoulder, turn sharply into the opponent. One, two, lay back. He's coming to me, so his head is now here. Lay back. Hook. Okay, so it's that still slamming that right side. Lay back. Do this as a slap. One, two, open palm. Don't draw the hand back. And turn that whole side into the opponent. Okay, so really nice. Jab, cross, lay back, take the tension out of the shoulder. So this whips across like an open palm slap. This right hand side of the body still turns in like it's stabbing someone. One, two, open palm. One, two, nice and tight, nice and loose, nice and whippy. The tight hook you want to make the same, still whips across, but it's this side of the body that's generating the power, not drawing the hand away from the head. So what we need to look at next is the body shot and not dropping the hand away from the head. Okay, with the body shot, it's very easy to try and wind this up again to gain the power. And it very much then just becomes an arm shot. You wanna keep this nice and tight. His punch comes, I slip the punch. I'm slightly in my front leg. I'm gonna hit right under his elbow. Of course, that's down here, and my hand is up here. And that's where the tendency is, is to try and throw this nice and loose. But again, it just becomes an arm punch. His punch comes, slip, keep this tight right until the last minute. And then what I tend to do is throw the punch in a little U shape, 
just to get under this lead arm or under this elbow. One, two. I'm in the front foot. Now I drop this slightly and I just throw this up in a little U shape. But again, as I've come down, now I start to drive from the floor and this hip, remember the punch here, the pad here or the knife, drives up. And it's that snapping motion, that drive up from the floor, that snap with the hip that generates the power. This punch comes, I slip. You sag the knees slightly now, start to drive from the floor up, drive the hip. And you can see the motion of the hand, little U shape. It follows my body, just drop it away slightly at the last minute. One, two, or he punches and I slip, nice and tight, elbows in. Okay, so generate the power of the body, keep the hands in really tight. Even when you're throwing the lay back hook, the lay back hook, the hand doesn't move. It punches from where it is. Try those things, we'll see how we move on.